Today we are sitting in the beautiful La Doce Vita, and it has a wine room right on the edge of the village here in Big Bear Lake. And we have with us today the hosts and proprietors of La Doce Vita. We have Valerie and Brian Bianchi. So how did you come up with the idea of having a wine tasting room in Big Bear? Brian and a friend uh, were talking and felt that something nice for the village was missing. And the idea they came up was with a wine tasting room. We did couple years of market research where we talked to people that were walking through the village shopping. Is it something you'd be interested in? And the response was always very positive. You have available to your customers as they would walk in, as you host across the bar, how many different varieties of wine do you think you can offer at this time? As far as varieties of wine, um, I don't think there's very many that we haven't brought in. We look for unique um, it, it is all California wineries at this point in time. They're all boutique wineries, very small production and very limited distribution. When you go out and you find these, these nice little boutique wineries, what kind of criteria do, do you go walking in with? What are you looking for besides just a nice looking bottle? I think uh, a big one is the price point for our customers that are in Big Bear. And we also, again, have to cater to our, our, our flight tasting, which is um, based upon five, five tastings of particular uh, wineries wine and we like to keep that price down also. If I'm a new customer and I've just come in here, what can I expect? What are you going to walk me through and, and help me through so that I have a proper wine tasting experience? Well, we provide a menu uh, that changes about every two weeks when we bring a new winery in. That menu will have our feature winery and a selection of their wines and we progress through tasting the wines in the order from a soft and uh, light to the bigger, fuller, heavier bodied wines. So usually soft whites through um, the big dry reds. On the weekends now, you're offering live entertainment, so you've got that going on. And you're pairing dinners now also. So first of all, let's hit the entertainment. What type of entertainment are you doing here? Well, we're, we're looking to keep our music at about every other weekend right now. All right, and then let's jump back. I was I mentioned very quickly that you're now doing pairings and you're bringing in a chef and pairing your wines to special meals. So tell me a little bit about that. This is a really exciting change for this year. We held our first dinner in January and we'll be doing quarterly dinners now. Um, the wine pairings are an intimate evening of wine and food. It's a relatively small gathering compared to most of the wine dinners in the area. And the reason being, I have the winemaker and the chef both available to circulate amongst all the guests during the dinner to discuss the flavor profiles. So it's, it's a very intimate experience. It's wonderful food. The chef does a fantastic job. I don't have a kitchen. <laughs> and he manages to cook a six course meal for us. Exactly. We also now offer um, hard ciders and then a large variety of different types of craft beers. So just like we're doing with our wines, um, small boutique, we're doing the same with our craft beers. Uh, there's some incredible beers that are being made out there and they're actually doing beer pairings uh, with food now. So wow. that may be something we'll look forward to in the future. We also <laughs> are, are very close to bringing in sakis, which is probably going to be the next big wave of uh, you know, I, I, we, we call wine tasting the new sport, so uh, you know, sake tasting is very popular, especially amongst the younger crowd, and so we are going to be bringing in, um, I think it's a 400-year-old sake company. Wow. And um, we're going to be tasting their sake and then making that a flight too. So it's not, it's not just wine tasting. <laughs> Obviously, if you are a, a, a brew aficionado, then that is covered for you as well, and soon sake. So Virtually anybody can come in and enjoy the afternoon because you've got such a wide menu now to offer. Uh, where are you located? What's the easiest way? If I was in a hotel and called you up on the telephone right now, how would you tell me how to get here? Well, our street number is 40645 Village Drive. We are on the west end of the Big Bear Lake Village Shopping District across the street from the Northwoods Resort. And if I was desperately trying to find that phone number and couldn't, what is it? The area code is 909-866-1538. And of course, you have a very nice website set up that they can get all this information, and you're posting up about what your events are down here, and your, your website is? ldbtastingroom.com. You can also find us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash ldbtastingroom, and that's where we put all of our calendar events, what's coming up, whose wine we're pouring, 
Any music that we have? We've covered wine, we've covered the beer, we have covered the soon-to-be sake, we've covered entertainment and where you are. Is there anything else that we should make sure that people are aware of? This is a lovely place and the most common feedback is people say that coming to La Dolce Vita <laughs> Taste Room is like being in their mom's living room. We want everybody to enjoy that comfort and, and relaxation with us. And I tried to tell my mother for years that we should have wine in the living room. Exactly. You know, I could just never convince her of that. And now is the chance to take advantage of it. Come down. Your hosts again, of course, Valerie and Brian, right here. They'll be in La Doce Vita. Come down and enjoy the, the whole ambiance of the afternoon. So thank you very much. And thanks for spending time with us here on The Village today. Thank you, John.